My, what a long, strange trip it's been. The Grateful Dead sang it, and since the pandemic began, we've lived it. And if you have investments, you no doubt have lived on a roller coaster ride for the last six months. It's been an up and down volatile stock market during the pandemic. And now leading up to the election, what are the financial experts saying about what's going on right now and what your game plan should be going forward? For that, let's bring in financial guru Dave Petso from Petso Financial in Boise. And Dave, from the big dip in the early stages of the pandemic last spring to a huge recovery in late summer, how do you explain what's happened and what is happening right now? Well, of course, there's a million explanations out there. I'll take a shot. And obviously, the big sell-off that occurred, it was a huge sell-off. It was the fastest bear market we've ever had. Imagine that. I mean, all the bear markets, this one was the quickest down. Then it was the quickest up, which, again, is an astounding thing. It, it normally takes a, you know, a, a, several hundred trading days to come back. We did it in 100 days. So this was an incredible V-shaped recovery, and we're right back where we were at the beginning of the year. But again, it's unsettled now as we head to the election and what a weird world we live in. It's just really hard to not watch the news and not feel like your world is upside down. It's kind of what we talk about all the time. This is an upside down world where good is bad, bad is good. It's just it's very hard to wrap our minds around all of this. So I come right back to fundamentals and say, let's just get that aside and let's see what's going on. Who are the winners and losers? And when we talk about the market, that's a whole bunch of companies. Tech companies are doing great, Mark. And at the same time, if you're in a cruise line business, you're not doing well. And that makes sense. It certainly makes sense on every level. We're not traveling, we're not spending money, but we are doing Zoom meetings like right now, and those companies are killing it. Mm -hmm. So we've seen everything change, but it actually, when we look at the fundamentals and ignore all of the noise out there, it kind of makes sense. Well, you touched on it, Dave. Tech stocks, as you mentioned, they've done well. And when you talk tech around here, you have to talk Micron. They performed well during the pandemic. That continued today, trading up Micron right at $50 a share. Why is tech doing so well right now? Yeah, and of course, tech generally did bad today. That tells you how good Micron's doing relatively, right? But Micron is the internet of things, if you will. That's what's coming, and it's coming even quicker than we had anticipated. 5G will allow connectivity of all kinds of things. I don't understand, but I just know it's coming and it's going to be amazing and it takes more chips. And that's what Micron makes, the microchips. And Micron is doing very, very well. What they do, it sounds simple and easy, but it obviously is very hard. China can't even get any, even when they steal technology, they can't even get started in, in any big way in making microchips and they would love to. Right. So it, what Micron has is technology that others don't. They're innovating that all the time. The company looks to have a very bright future. Earnings are next week. We'll see how things are going right now. All right, Dave, so bottom line this for us with Wall Street waiting seemingly to find out what's going to happen in the November election. So much uncertainty when it comes to COVID. Um, Wall Street is also holding on to most of our money. What should our strategy be right now going forward in the short term and also in the long term, say for guys like Rick Lance, who's 64 years old and thinking about retiring in the next two, three, four, five, ten years? It's a great question. And of course, everybody is different and, and, and as far as their own tolerance. But I, I just beg people not to make an all or none decision. If you are concerned, and, and I think there's reasons to be, we certainly are raising more cash uh, daily, just as we get a, approaching this real uncertain time. And, and it is uncertain, but do things in a small way. It, people have a tendency to be all or none, like I don't like stocks right now, and then they sell everything. Well, that's crazy, it can cause tax problems. And it also, most importantly says, I'm so good at this, I can time the market. I know all the greats can't do it, but I got this. It also says I'm going to time it twice because I'm going to get back in right at the right moment. And I'm, I'm here to tell you that God isn't going to tell you when the right moment is. So you're, you're on your own and that has been unsuccessful. So if you're concerned and you should be, go ahead and raise a little cash or let it build up between now and election. If you are retiring in the next couple of years, you already should be making sure that you've got cash because the moment you retire, you should be assuming that's a bear market beginning to happen. That way you're protected if and when it does happen. I love your mantra. 
It is a marathon, not a sprint when it comes exactly. to your investments. All right, Dave Petzo, we appreciate your expertise in this and we'll continue to buckle our seatbelts. Exactly. Thanks for your time, Mark, and, right. and you have a great day. Appreciate it. Dave Petzo.